Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Bros. Hope you had a great weekend. So basically we painted this last weekend and we gave it a couple days to dry so it's good to go now and we're ready to assemble it. Man, I'm really excited about it. So the game plan is basically work on the interior parts, all the rubber trim pieces, the door panels, get the doors back together, put the glass on hopefully. The rear, put that together as well because we're missing some pieces in the front still and we still need some wheels. So we can't finish it completely yet, but hey, we'll do what we can. You know, might as well keep going. Might, why stop on it? But yeah, it's gonna look really good. So hopefully we'll get some pieces on there and it'll look more like a Hellcat. You know, we're going through your guys' names and there's a lot of choices. Wow, I can't even, you guys are very creative. Thanks for all the comments. We actually do have a couple favorites. So we're gonna go back and forth and just try to, you know, brand this one. And we'll see, we'll pick some names, but let's go ahead and just start putting together and get some stuff done.
All right, all right, guys, getting it done, getting it together. It's looking real sharp. I love the black with the accent of the orange. Man, it's looking nice. I did have to take it apart about like three times just to make it right. It's kind of a puzzle and every piece has to go in the right order. But hey, figuring it out, getting it done, and it's looking good. I actually took that panel off the other side a couple times, but there we go. All the trim pieces looking good. Got it riveted back on top. All the molding pieces are looking nice. Doors closing. Awesome. Oh yeah. All right, guys, got the jump box on there. We got power, moment of truth. Let's see if our windows work. Okay, here we go, driver's side. Nice, beautiful. Definitely gotta get that twin. <laughs> yeah, definitely gotta get that tinted because we're just clearing out our passenger side. Here we go. Oh yeah. Beautiful, nice. Lock, unlock, it's all working. Awesome, time to move forward. Wow guys, so check it out, the rear bumper is on. I really love the flat block with the trunk lid and the bumper itself just coming together. Man, just beautiful, super excited. It looks really low, honestly, with that addition in the bottom. It looks like the whole car's slammed. It's, it's an aftermarket diffuser, Michael, so it looks good. Dang. We still got the lights to put in, but uh, I mean, it looks good. Wow, so that definitely turned, sporty. Out, turned out beautiful. We had to add a couple of screws there to secure it properly, make sure, you know, it's gonna stay on there, but looking really good, I'm happy with it. Wow. What's the next thing you got? We got the little diffuser for our spoiler. Check it out. It's gonna look really nice. A little aftermarket as well, but since we're going at it, make it nice. Let's go ahead and get that on. Aftermarket diffuser, oh yeah. DIY, that's what we do. guys we're letting our little weather strippings bake in the sun we got the double-sided tape on there let them get all nice and warm they're actually painted already as well it took about a good 30 minutes to scrape off the old tape that wasn't fun but hey we got it done and we also scratched up the other side blew it off got it all cleaned up ready to let it stick on there but let it warm up a little bit it's easier to mold and maneuver
So we got the hood on. So basically we want to give this thing a bath real quick, rinse off all that dust. And this way we'll cover up the engine. We got our windows to close and our trunk lid on there. So yeah, let's go ahead and wash it real quick and then we could go over it and see how it turned out. Wow guys, this thing definitely turned out beautiful. We gave it a good wash, all that dust came off, and man, look, first time getting the matte black with the orange together and clean. Beautiful, for sure guys, this thing's gonna be a beast. And thinking about it, the black and the orange, reading guys your comments, we're gonna probably go with Garfield. Yeah, why not? Because it's a cat, the Hellcat, you know, orange, black. Garfield I think fits perfectly, we're just gonna go for that. Yeah, why not? So for now on, the Hellcat build's gonna be called the Garfield build. Yeah, thanks guys so much for, you know, mentioning that and coming up with that name. I love it. Wow. Also, let us know about the rear diffuser we did on the spoiler, the rear bigger diffuser than the factory. I think that looks very aggressive. Oh yeah, you know, for sure. It's not a stock car, so. Why not? We're gonna, you know, make it a little aftermarket, better than OEM, so we're gonna, you know, customize it a little bit, and I think it's turning out beautiful, for sure. But unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this episode, guys. We still have the front end to do, but we're still missing a couple pieces. We can put our bumper together, so there's still some stuff we're gonna get knocked out, but. And the wide body, too. Yeah, oh yeah. So first, we're gonna make it kinda look stock, and then just go wider. And then we got some wheels, actually, so we're stoked about that. We picked some up, and we'll show you next time, so make sure you stay tuned. Turn that notification bell so you don't miss the next episode, but. Yeah, thanks so much for watching guys and we'll catch you next time.